Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Civil Engineering Forum. Today we are going to talk about two different kinds of wood polish or rather we would say wood coating namely melamine polish and PU polish. All the characteristics like product description, product life that is its durability, then costing, then application process, quality etc will be compared in detail in this video. So after watching this entire video, you would be able to decide which wood polish is better out of the two. So without wasting your time, we would quickly start with the product description of the both. At first we will start with the description of melamine polish. Melamine is an organic compound that is toxic. It is often combined with formaldehyde to produce melamine resin, which is safe and not toxic. Melamine polish consists of this resin, which spreads as a thin film over the furniture surface. Basically, melamine is a toxic ingredient used to make plastic out of which resin is obtained. This resin makes a thin film on a wood surface that acts as a protective coating. Next, we will talk about the product description of PU polish. Polyurethane polish is a geopolymer that is used to apply a protective coating over wooden and other furniture. So this is the polish basically made up of polyurethane that is a polymer which provides a protective coating to wooden or any other material surface or any material surface used for furniture. Next we are going to talk about all the differences between these polishes. So talking and comparing the costing of these both polishes, melamine polish is a budget friendly polish. Although we are compromising many things over here, what we will get to know regarding that later on. But right now we are just concerned with the costing so it is a budget friendly polish while PU polish is bit expensive as compared to melamine polish. So next characteristic here we are going to compare is the dilution process. So melamine polish comes in two compounds. One is resin that is our main compound or we would say our main chemical polish and second is catalyst that is the hardener. We cannot apply melamine polish without hardener. We need at least 10% of the hardener to mix with our main that is melamine polish for proper settlement and durability of our polish after it sets. Next regarding PU polish, it can be water based or solvent based. So PU polish are available in two types, some are water based where water is added to dilute our chemical and other is solvent based where another chemical is provided in the box along with our polish that is PU polish, we need to mix these both chemicals and then apply. So here lies the differences for the dilution process. Then next we are going to talk about the areas of application. So melamine polish is used for interior only. We can apply melamine polish only in our interior furniture. While if we talk about PU polish, if our polish is water based, it is used for interior. While if it is solvent based, it is mostly used for exterior. Because uh, solvent based polishes has more life that is more durability because it is meant for resisting the weathering effect in extreme conditions. So these are the differences for the areas of application. Next we are going to talk about its life that is its durability, which polish is more durable. So talking about melamine polish, it has less durability and this is the main reason why it is a bit cheaper polish. While PU polish has more durability, its lifetime is more, after application it will last at least for 10 years. Next we are going to talk about the surface on which we can apply the polishes. So melamine polish can only be applied on wooden surface. While if we talk about PU polish, it can be applied on any type of furniture. It can be metal furniture, it can be wooden furniture, it can be PVC. So any decorative furniture can be polished by using the PU polish. This is another reason why it is bit expensive. Next, regarding the yellowing problem. So for melamine polish, there is a problem of yellowing on exposure to sunlight. This polish is not actually meant for withstanding the direct sunlight or weathering effect. On exposure to direct sunlight, there may be the problem of getting a yellow shade over the time, which will not make our furniture look attractive over the time. But if we talk about PU polish, the problem of yellowing on exposure to sunlight does not occur here. So the provision of an extraordinary shiny look will remain forever till our polish lasts. Next talking about the dry time of these both polishes. So melamine polish will dry in about 20 minutes after the application. While PU polish will take somewhat more time that is about 40 minutes after the application we will get a touch dry time. Next we will talk about the surrounding and environmental conditions. Melamine polish dries faster and does not need dirt or dust free environment. Because melamine polish dries faster as we saw in about 20 minutes it gets set. In about 20 minutes we get a touch dry surface. It does not require dirt or we can say dust free environment which can ruin the finishing of our polish. 
while talking about PU polish, it needs a dirt and dust free environment to give you a perfect finish because it is having somewhat more uh, drying time. And in order to get the desired appearance, we need to wait for the environment to be dust free. Next, we are going to talk about the pot life. That is in how much time after the mixing of the chemicals, we need to apply that polish on our furniture. So talking about melamine polish, it has more pot life. This is the benefit of using this polish. Mixing this polish with the hardener will not let it set and decrease the workability of the polish without application on the surface. So it will give us enough time to apply on the surface and provide us a perfect finish. While talking about PU polish, it has less pot life. After mixing with the chemical that is solvent or mixing with the water in a limited period of time, we need to apply this chemical directly on the surface and here we need to be faster. So about melamine polish, melamine polish is less durable only because it is not making a very strong bond with the surface as PU polish does. And this is the reason we can remove it or repair it very easily. But PU polish that is polyurethane makes a very strong bond with the surface on which it is spreaded or the film is spreaded and thus removing this coating will be very difficult for us. So again this is the benefit for melamine polish. Next talking about environment safety. So here melamine polish does not harm the environment while PU polish contains chemicals harmful for the environment. There are few chemicals in polyurethane polish which are harmful for the environment and ultimately for us. So friends, this is all for today. If you like this video, just click on the like button and do subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.